Sure. I am Paridi Sekri. I'm the co-founder of Brand Tidy Up. The brand is dedicated in helping you find your calm and making your life more convenient. The brand's mission is to provide you well thought of, effective and sustainable solutions that can help you preserve, protect and add value to your cherished products. So we started this two years ago in the pandemic and uh, I'd just like to add we've only grown four, ten folds since then and we've launched being uh, from a women-centric brand to a complete lifestyle brand now. So my panel discussion today was very informative. It's always so good to meet like-minded people. And uh, what was the highlight of the panel discussion today was our conversation revolved around how we are leaving a positive footprint on this planet, how all of our brands are so consciously adding to the environment, how we are creating and designing products that is just going to take this movement further forward and uh, more and more get conscious and educate and empower more people to do so. Um, can you provide a quick list of do's and don'ts that you believe are crucial for founders to navigate successfully in the coming 6 to 12 months? So I feel, uh, you know, because the D2C has increased so much exponentially, uh, what is happening is all of course, like in every other trade, some are falling, some startups are falling flat and investors are getting actually sometimes scared to launch into uh, investments so quickly anymore. But what I feel is the success ratio for any brand, whether it's a startup, whether it's a bootstrap, what happens is when we grow far from what we initially started, with, what the brand's ethos is, once the scaling up happens, it's very easy to lose sight of how to keep the passion and the ethos still consistent with it. As long as we keep moving our customer acquisition, customer care service very well in touch with our scaling opportunities, I feel the brand will only progress. It's when we lose in touch of the customer's needs and what their reinforcements back to the brand's uh, thoughts are, that's when the little bit of differentiation comes. Okay, in your opinion, which sector do you predict will be the most significant uh, contributor to India's economic growth, And what factors drive this prediction? See, I feel uh, beauty and lifestyle fact, uh, sectors are very, very progressive as of now. Simply because of, you know, uh, certain facts right now, social media is very prominent. Everybody's on digital age. So beauty, I feel, for that reason works very well because everybody wants to look good. Everybody wants alternatives and options. The luxury sector also in India is booming. According to Bain & Company, it's supposed to be a $200 billion industry by 2030. So, and the lifestyle sector from which Tidy Up is, we feel adding products which are going to help you take care of those luxury products is definitely in there. Okay, what specific goals have you set for your business in 2024? And what strategic initiative do you plan to, do you plan to initiate? For so currently, Tidy Up is only available online. But for 2024, we are planning on going offline as well. We are planning on incorporating the entire omni-channel journey for our brand. And uh, we feel now is the time when people are more aware of our product to the touch and the feel and the presence is needed now physically. So I feel that will be a huge benchmark for us to set up our stores. Thank you so much. Thank you.